Hello watchers and subscribers in this tutorial we are going to see about the logical operator so first we will see the use so it allow program to make decision based on multiple conditions sometime in the programming we have to use more than one condition so whenever you use more than one condition we have to use logical operator okay so that you can easily frame the program so you can just remember for taking multiple conditions in the program we use logical operator so in the scratch programming your uh, operators will be looking like that this is and or and not in other programming language we use this symbol and or and not so the their meaning and name is exactly same logical and logical or logical not now we will see their use so first we will see or operator so in the or operator uh, we have suppose two condition a and b and last one is the result so condition means suppose you are having variable x and y x value is 4 y value is 2 so you can use condition x greater than y it means 4 greater than 2 it means it is true so it will show the value 1 1 means true and if we use if we use opposite condition means y greater than x means 2 greater than 4 so it will be clearly false in mathematics point of view so it will show 0 so here why we are using 1 and 0 because computer understand machine language in the form of 1 and 0 so whenever it is true the value is 1 whenever it is false value is 0 so here 1 and 1 means here both condition are true in our operator it will be true if any one is true out of two then last one will be true if both are false last one will be false so how you can remember this one and zero it's very simple dear student so actually or operator it same it perform like addition operation it perform like plus for example in english also we say i will do this work or this work okay we say it means you will prepare at least one work okay so here exactly same concept suppose here in condition one the value is one and here the value is one means both are true so it will be true so you can easily remember means here one plus zero it is always positive value zero plus one so it is also one and zero plus zero it is always zero one plus one it is actually two so at least greater than one so here one value will be there so whenever both are false then only it will be false because zero plus zero is zero so in this way you can remember the or operator so you have to keep in mind one thing if any one is true if any one condition is true then final one will be true so now we are going into the scratch programming and we will see one sample program using or operator so here i am in the scratch program so first of all i will use event when the flag is click and here for showing the conditions i have to use variable so i am creating two variable this is my first variable a and one more variable i want b so i have created two variable and i am assigning values to there so a value that is i want uh, suppose 5 and next one is variable b so i want the value 10 you can take any value according to you and then is uh, for representing condition i have to use if statement here so this is the if statement as you know one whenever the condition is true then it will run body of if so this is the if statement and for taking condition i have to go in the operator and as we learn or operator so i am taking or here and here i have to use condition so i am taking these conditions here like that you have to keep it so this is the or operator and as you learn at least one condition should be true if both are true then final one will be true if both are false final will be false so here in the variable category i have to keep that variable here a and b so what is the value of a 5 5 is greater than 50 it is false b is what 10 10 is greater than 50 it is also false i am just keeping it here and in the looks category it will say hello so now we will run the output 
nothing is coming because both are false so now we are keeping at least one true so a value at is phi so phi is greater than 3 as you know it is true phi greater than 3 true so one is true and here the second one is false so it will show this output you see hello why because one is true so in or operator this is the or operator if any this is the one condition this is the second if any one condition is true then it will show the body of if okay if any one is true then it will return the true value true means the condition is true and it will execute the body of if okay so this is the way that or is working and after that now we will see the and operator so i am going into the presentation so here now i am in the and operator and in the and operator what happen both the condition must be true so here this is the example you see now in and operator both are true so last one is true if anyone is false this one is false because this and operator it work like multiplication 1 into 1 is 1 and 1 into 0 is 0 here also 0 and here also 0 so it work like multiplication as you saw or operator work like addition so and work like multiplication and in general english also we say i will do this work and i will do that work means you are going to do both the work so it means that here whenever the both are true then only it will be true it will return the true value so now again i am jumping into the scratch and we will see the program using and operator in the scratch so previously we have used or operator so i am just taking it out so this is the condition now in place of or we want and operator so we are just keeping it there first i am placing a and b just keeping it there so now you see as uh, in and both should be true so here 1 is already 2 a value is 5 5 greater than 3 true but b is 10 so it is false so it will not show any output because both should be true so b value is 10 so here just i am writing 5 so now here a value is 5 5 greater than 3 correct b is 10 10 greater than 5 correct so it will show the output hello so in this way in and operator if both are true both conditions are true then only it will be true and then it will show the output of if so now here you understood and now we are going into the last and operator so now i am going into the presentation so here we will see the logical not operator and it operate on only one condition means if it is true it will be false if it is false it will be true means it gives the opposite result so now we will see programmatically how the not operator is working here i am in the program and uh, right now we don't need and operator so we need only one condition so we don't need this we are using and operator sorry not operator and keeping it here now placing it here so a value is 5 5 is greater than 3 it is true so true will be converted into false and it will not show any output you see nothing is going on because a value is 5 5 greater than 3 it is true so true will be converted into false because 1 is converted into 0 0 is converted into 1 so as it is true it will be converted into false so you are not getting any output suppose i am writing a is 5 okay so here 5 is greater than 10 so it is false okay 5 greater than 10 so it is false so false is converted into true so here the condition will be true and it will show this output you see now it is showing hello because it was false false is converted into true so you are getting the output from if statement so whenever the if condition value is true then only it will show the output of if statement whenever it is false so it will not show the output from if statement so in this way if is working so in the if block you can use and or and not operator so in and and or operator we use two condition here we use only one so i hope dear student you understood this operator and you have to practice for your better understanding thanks for watching this tutorial thank you